Hi guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. Um, today we're looking at how to study a case, right? So if you're doing law, if you're studying law like I am at the University of Lusaka, which is the best university in Zambia, except if you're looking at it from a jealous point of view, of course, um, you know that studying cases is one cardinal part of your academics and in your quest of studying the law. So um, we know that previous cases do have an aspect of, okay, let me put it this way. Previous cases are a source of law in Zambia, right? So we know that previous cases form what we call precedent, which is, uh, okay, what precedent is, is it's decisions made in previous cases that are binding on current cases with similar facts to those previous cases, right? So in addition to that, okay, we know that there are two different types of cases. We have civil cases and we have criminal cases. A civil, in a civil case, you have two parties that are involved, right? You've got, um, hold on, what? Yeah, you've got the plaintiff and you've got the defendant. The plaintiff is the one who takes the lawsuit to court. So if I say Banda takes Piri to court, Banda is the plaintiff whilst Piri is a defendant, right? Then you also have criminal cases. And with criminal cases, you've got two parties as well, which is the state and the defendant, or the accused rather, the accused, not the defendant, accused. Defendant is in a civil case, whilst the accused is in criminal cases. Right. Okay, so in light of that, let's jump right into it. Firstly, we'll look at the layout of a case, what a case looks like when you first open it. So, you know, um, in Zambia, if you're doing law in Zambia, you've got an online resource that is called Zambia Line. And yeah, there you can find all your cases and whatever it is that you need your statutes. Um, statutory instruments, whatever it is that you need, you can get it on Zambia Live. So yeah, let's dive right into it and let me show you what the layout of the case looks like. Okay. So looking at this case, we've got a case of Christian Mulunjika and seven others versus the people, right? So um, at first glance, you just you just look at the case. I got this case from Zambia Lai, as um, I mentioned before. So yeah, it looks long and boring, but guys, cases are actually kind of interesting. Because uh, I like stories. So, yeah. Um, okay, so let's just dive right into it. So, at the top, you've got the title of the case, which is Christian Mulundi and Seven Others versus the People. Then, right below that, it tells it says um, Supreme Court, which is the court in which it was heard in. And then you've got the names of the judges. And then, um, right after that, you've got the dates in which the case was heard, which is between the 30th of November and the 10th of december 1996 okay so right up to that you've got the fly note which is just kind of a few keywords pertaining to the case so they kind of give you a bit of they tell you what is in the case what's involved in the case so you've got constitutional law uh permit exemption discrimination of course you've also got provisions of the public order act and yeah then you go over to the head note the head note is kind of like um it also it summarizes the case per se um yeah and it's just like a short brief of what the case is about but never cite from the head note like don't you can read it to get an idea of what the case is about but never cite from the head note itself then after that you've got the case itself so the judgment so the judgment itself this is what was written by the judge himself so um you might find that it might be easier to understand some cases like what's when you read through the judgment it might be easier to understand some cases compared to others because i mean different judges write differently um just like different people write differently because i mean judges are also people so yeah um you might find it easier to understand one case was compared to another so yeah so that's the basic layout of a case now that we have um looked at the layout of the case right what do you actually do like what do you actually do when you pick up a case? So um, there are a few tips that I was given by my seniors and that I follow that I have found to be very helpful when it comes to me reading cases. It definitely makes it easier and quicker for me to get through the case and actually 
get to the nitty gritties of what I have to do and what I have to understand. So um, these are the few tips. Firstly, take note of exactly what your lecturer wants you to look at. So if it's under constitutional law, you know that you're going to be looking for something pertaining to constitutional law. I'll give you an example of um, the case of Thomas Mumba versus the people. In this case, you know that the case is dealing with um, how the constitution is the supreme law. So whilst reading that case, you'll be looking at the facts. What you'll be looking at the facts of the case that are pertaining to how the whole constitution is the supreme law and any other law that is contradictory to what the constitution states is to be considered now and void, right? So after that, the next thing that you also need to consider is um, the judgment. I always find it easier to read the judgment first before I read the whole case, okay? So that kind of gives you an idea of what you're reading towards, what you're going towards. You're not just reading the whole case like you're reading the story and you're being left in suspense and in limbo. And yeah, so it kind of gives you a direction and lets you know exactly what you're looking for. So the first time you read through the case, quite right, read the judgment first, then read through the case the first time. Then the second time around, start looking for the facts of the case, look for the judgment which you already have, and then look for the rationale. So the rationale is the reasoning behind the judgment made. So in doing this, you now link the facts and the judgment, what led the judge to turn these, to get these facts and just take them straight and just come up with the particular judgment that they have come up to in that particular case. So with these particular tips, um, yeah, I think you're ready to go and read a case. You can, so just get up and read a few cases. If you need a few suggestions, you can do that. Soon enough, you will be good. Um, we'll go in depth with what the rationale is, the facts, Russia Dissidenti, and all these other things later in another video that we'll look at, which is to do with the summarizing of a case. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, tell your friends, and yeah.